no source material, but they want to pay homage to no source material. Jason Solo. Right, Filoni. Right on. Hi everyone, this is OG Star Wars and today I'm going to share some news with you that I have missed but a dear friend and follower on Twitter has brought this to my attention by posting it themselves and this is from Alex K or Alexaurus Zilla and so the credit go to him and I will share information on the side of me right here as well so you can follow along. So you know we we are all adverse to Disney, Star Wars saying there's no source material that, and especially what Kathleen Kennedy said, no source material. Basically, they're starting from clean slate. And so we are also aware of the cartoon um, series called Rebels and the characters in there, um, Kanan and Hera basically had a kid. And this, our Hera is a Twi'lek and Twi'leks in the old lore, Twi'leks and human were not compa compatible with each other. And I'll go ahead and share some information on the side right here. And so there was no hybrids of human and, um, and humanoids that are Twi'leks in the original lore. So when this came about, this those who know the lore, you know, they were, especially me, were kind of put off like, okay, this is weird. Those who don't know the lore or don't understand the lore, don't follow the lore, it was fine with them. And there's a lot of um, people out there that don't follow the lore or the continuity. And so whatever Disney does, it just, they're like, oh, well, I've never seen it before or it's done now, you know, kind of thing. And yes, it's done now. They have the freedom to change things up because they got rid of legends. And this is where my point is coming across is that if you're going to clean the slate from the original lore for creative freedom, then leave it alone and start anew. And so, again, like I said, they this this tweet here from Alex K. And this is what I'm going to read. And again, it's going to be on the side right here. They named Kanan and Harris kid this green haired abomination, Jason, J-A-C-N. And he goes, Jason, exclamation point, as in Jason Solo. Are these sloppy references to the hashtag Star Wars expanded uni universe supposed to be cute? Because they're not. Stop it. Stop pissing us off. And so this is a genuine, you know, um, original lore enthusiasts are hardcore fan as they like to call us and they decided to make star wars a clean slate for creative freedom then we thought okay well we were very disappointed of course because of 40 years of lore 25 centuries of history that george and his team came up with is now you know gone out of um out of the universe that is is expanding on now so we got over that and we're like, okay, maybe there'll be a parallel universe, which is fine. You know, we're like, cool. Okay, maybe we'll get that. And even though we didn't get only but one comic, 108, we were we are still happy with the original EU. However, they keep on bringing in characters and they're bastardizing the characters or names or whatever to pay homage to us, to pay homage to us hardcore fans that um love the eu that was very disappointed that they decided to destroy that for creative freedom thinking that they're going to bring us back into the fold with what they gave us and then they gave us the disney trilogy which basically was done away with the original foundation and lore and i won't go any further on that other than you know palpatine won in the end and so we have this and so we have this green-haired twilight mix um, being which where are the lacus you know where are the the long brain tails of a twilight so this character really doesn't make sense if it's a um a breed between human and twilight a hybrid and so i'm going to go further into this 
So the decision to introduce Jason Sindula in the series finale was one that the executive producer Dave Filoni had been thinking of throughout the production on the fourth season. He initially only shared his idea with Carrie Hart. All right. In the head of the Lucasfilm story, the head of the Lucasfilm story group who was supportive of the character's introduction. Jason Del or Filoni deliberately chose the name Jason as a way to of honoring the character of Jason Solo. And his importance in the stories of Star Wars Legends. All right. So that's what, you know, Alex K have brought to my attention. And um, yeah, this is has time has passed since then. However, paying homage to characters by bringing them in by, you know, reinventing them because they're not going to have the same story arc as we originally known him as are of and bringing in a character to pay homage to try to get us hardcore legends fan back into the phone it is not going to work either because you basically disney lucasfilm basically told us that legends is irrelevant and not canon anymore and to pay homage to to a great character with characters that have no equivalence to that character or anything like that you know it's just a bastardization of um of the name or of the character and it doesn't pay homage. Paying homage um, would be giving Luke Skywalker a better character arc in the Disney trilogy and showing us that even though they're not going to bring back Legends, that he is still the capable Jedi Grandmaster that we knew and loved in the original lore. That he can still train and he's the sage and he's passing down the proverbial lightsaber to the next generation they could have done that in a way of um of not destroying his character for the sake of a new character and this is how i see this no matter what now this is how i see this and jason solo's character was so phenomenal in itself you know he he's the son of leia and han solo who they bastardized in disney trilogy and he has a twin sister, um, you know, Jaina, and a little brother brother named Anakin Solo. And he went from this loving and caring character who, you know, is humorous and very curious about the Force and what else there in the Force there is besides what he's learned in the Jedi Academy as a Jedi Knight, you know, facing trials and tribulations and cap, um, captive, being captive of the Vong, you know, and torture and everything into, you know, wanting something better, but using the dark side to get there, you know, and eventually not being able to be redeemed and having to face off his sister. So there's a great character arc right there. And to give it to one of these characters that we will never, ever see again properly. And even if we did, most likely will not um, have anything significant or any character arc that's significant to the character that, you know, they want to pay homage to. And um, so that that's why this disheartens me is because, you know, first of all, Legends is no longer, you know, relevant. They want their own, you know, creative, creative freedom, yet they still bring in Legends, yet they still bring in characters to name after Legend characters. Leave them alone and just continue to just create something within your realm of Star Wars, Disney Star Wars. And at least don't break can canonicity to the original films. And it's fine. Quit bastardizing our characters for the sake of trying to bring us hardcore fans back because it's not working. This is not working. This doesn't make me want to watch Rebels anymore. And this does not make me want to know who this character is just because you named him after um, a pivotal character within Legends, Han and Leia's own son. Now, if you wanted to pay homage, then maybe you could have kept these characters intact and gave us Jason and Jaina and Anakin and Ben Skywalker in the sequel trilogy. Or maybe, you know, keep all the novels and expand Jason or Jaina's, Ben's, and Jagged Fell's arc in a sequel trilogy 
you know, after Crucible. There you go. That's paying homage to the characters by keeping them intact the way they are, the way we know and love them, rather than just saying they're gone and then, oh, here's a nod or we're going to bring this back. Come on back now. Come on. We're sorry that we, we're so sorry that we called you all kinds of names, that we called you man babies hiding in your mama's basement, you know? So again, bullshit. <laughs>